cancer kills more people worldwide than any violent crime together, any violent crimes combined. So cancer is number one serial killer. And what is the problem with cancer? Problem is that cancer at early stages usually has no symptoms. And when symptoms appear, it's usually already late. That's a cancer problem. So we need, what we need? We need early diagnosis. And what can we do for early diagnosis? We can screening. Screening means medical tests when they are done before any symptoms occur. So when there is no symptom and person feels healthy, he should done some medical tests to for early detection of cancers. And we will review seven most important medical tests which can help early detection and which can improve cancer outcome if, if, if such cancer exists. First is breast cancer screening. Breast cancer, why, is it, why it's problem? It's very common. That's why it's problem and it's deadly. It causes death if left untreated. And in case of early detection, five-year survival is 99%. It means that if breast cancer is detected earlier and diagnosed earlier and treated earlier, this person will have 99% of chance that will not die with this cancer because of this cancer. So it means five years survival. And what is the test for breast cancer screening? It's mammography. How accurate is this test? Mammography has around 80% chance that accurately founds, finds breast cancer. It means mammography uh, sensitivity is 80%. For medical tests, it's quite, it's quite good result. And who should do breast cancer screening? Every woman after age of 40, every year, should do mammography. And important point, breast cancer usually has genetic basis, such as, just, such as BRCA gene mutation. Why it's important? Because if person has such mutation, this person has very importantly increased risk of breast cancer. Around 70% of uh, breast cancer risk if person has this mutation. So it's huge, huge risk. That's why if person do this uh, genetic testing, uh, he or she can prevent many types of cancers, including prostate cancer, including breast cancer, including uh, ovary cancer. So BRCA gene uh, mutation screening and uh, testing is very important test. And uh, second important uh, screening is cervical cancer. Cervical cancer screening is made um, by pap smear or Papa Nicolau test. And what it means? It means gynecologists will take sample from cervix, will take cells, some cells from cervix, and uh, check under the microscope. Check for finding atypical cells because these atypical cells can be cancer. And early detection increases survival up to 90% of cases. So if cervical cancer is detected early and treated early, person has 90% of survival, five year survival. And moreover, if there is atypical cells, but not cancer in the sample, it, uh, and if we treat, if we remove this atypical layer and atypical cells from cervix, it means that we can prevent this cancer also. It's very important because uh, from these atypical cells, which are not cancer yet, there is, we have several year, year window 
before this atypical cells become cancer. So if we detect these atypical cells during this window before they become cancer, we can prevent cancer 100%. And who should do, who should does um, cervical cancer test or pap test? Every woman after age of 21 is very important. And this test should be done every three years. Uh, and it's worth to mention that we have vaccination also for children uh, against papillomavirus and because this papillomavirus is uh, important cause of cervical cancer and uh, with this vaccine we can um, prevent uh, cervical cancer at all because um, that's why vaccination is important at, uh, at early ages such as 12 for example uh, and next test is colorectal cancer colorectal cancer is huge problem it's second most important killer among cancers first is uh, lung cancer and second is colorectal cancer it's huge problem because it's aggressive cancer but with screening and early treatment Survival can be 90%, five year survival can be 90%. So early treatment still very crucial. So early detection is very crucial. And how we detect it early? With colonoscopy. Colonoscopy is test. It's procedure. It's not comfortable procedure, of course, but important procedure to detect um, this aggressive cancer, which is colorectal cancer. And moreover, in many cases, colonoscopy can detect and remove uh, polyps. And these polyps are not cancers. They are benign, but they can become cancer in future. And if we remove these polyps, it means we prevent cancer. It's very important. We have another test, stool-based test, but it's not um, such uh, sensitive and such effective and accurate as colonoscopy so colonoscopy is better and uh, we have several tricks we can decrease risk of cancer colorectal cancer with intake of high fiber flu foods it decreases colorectal cancer around 30 percent and exercise exercise also decrease colorectal cancers around 30 percent so we can importantly decrease risk of colorectal cancer if you eat lots of fiber and a lot if you exercise regularly it's very important and who should does this um, colorectal cancer uh, test colonoscopy people age 45 or uh, after 45 so after 45 people should do colonoscopy it's important test to detect colorectal cancer it's very important and fourth is prostate cancer uh, in case of prostate cancer good news is that it's not aggressive cancer uh, it's slow grow cancer but bad news is that it's very common cancer and it still kills lots of people because it's very common cancer any man has 10% lifetime risk that he gets this disease, gets prostate cancer. That's why it's very uh, common cancer and we need to test with prostate specific antigen blood test. It's blood test and with blood you can detect this cancer in many cases. And if you detect it in early stages, it has high cure rate. It's important because generally this cancer is indolent and slow grow cancer but still very important because very common cancer and this, uh, this uh, um, screening should be done after age of 50 in men and fifth uh, screening is skin test uh, skin, skin cancer skin cancer is very important because it is most common cancers ever 
First and most common cancers are skin cancers. They are melanoma and other types of cancers. And if you see moles, uh, which are asymmetric, which has irregular border, which has different types of colors inside, uh, which, which diameter is more than six millimeter. They are called atypical moles and you should uh, check them if there is melanoma risk or melanoma or it's just a normal uh, moles. So checking and screening for skin is very important. But remember, not all skin cancers look like moles. There are different types of uh, different types of skin cancers which uh, th they are not look like moles so you should be very careful if you see an unusual growth or spot on your skin and lung cancer is six lung cancer screening is very aggressive cancer even if you detect it early stages five year survival is 63 percent 63% is not high percentage, of course, but it's important because most commonly this cancer is diagnosed stage three or stage four. That's why when person is, are diagnosed in stage three or stage four, their survival is around 10%. Five year survival is very low five year survival. That's why early diagnosis increase this percentage uh, um, up to 63 so huge difference that's why lung cancer uh, screening is important and how we uh, how we screen with low dose ct scans is important and seventh is oral cancers oral cancers should be screened by uh, dentists so uh, regular dental uh, regular visits with with dentists is very important to screen oral cancer it's very important also that's all that's all these seven important cancers which be which can be screened and uh, when screening and early diagnosis means a um, better prognosis so uh, you should mind and uh, you should think about this diseases and these screenings thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my video please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you thank you very much bye for now